So the amount of time we can dedicate to playing the guitar is usually quite limited, so we have to make the most of our practice time. So the format of my lessons is exactly the same structure for practicing. We start with a warm-up, something like a sticky chromatic for the left hand. So we might do a very simple right hand arpeggio, dropping through the strings, just to warm the fingers up. We might practice the track. So then go through your scales. An arpeggio, perhaps. So then perhaps it's a good idea to look at Giuliani's right hand studies and work through them gradually. So they're actually in Pumping Nylon, greatest book in the world. Um, I won't go through them now with you, but literally they're just so fantastic for the right hand. Um, so that, you know, it's, it's quite incredible. Well, they over 150 years old and yet today in such a sort of contemporary method for the guitar such as pumping nylon here they are still relevant and still useful so literally five minutes and then perhaps do some sight reading in my lessons i use no solo guitar playing i mean literally students go through the exercise one at a time bite-sized pieces I'll make a separate video on sight readings. So there's no need to be anxious about it at this stage. So then we can get on to our performance piece. I'm presuming the practice sessions are very short, so 20 minutes to half an hour. Um, and I would definitely suggest no more than half an hour without a five minute break. Um, so the more breaks you have, the longer you can play without actually physically damaging yourself and concentration will be higher. So if you'd like to practice an hour a day, I would suggest two slots of half an hour. If you want to practice two hours a day, then you know obviously we're looking at three or four practice sessions throughout the day. So we must bear in mind that we are more alert at certain times of the day, and so this would be the time to practice. If you're a morning person and get up at six o'clock and get your practice session done, then absolutely fact. If I if I practice at six o'clock in the morning, it would not be very productive. So I find early evening is best for me when I'm most awake. Um, so you find out what works for you. The important thing with practice is to have a structure. And you're thinking, I don't only want to be better at playing this one piece of music I'm looking at at the moment. I want to be a better player overall. So all these little things before you practice the performance piece really are essential. Don't lose sight of the big picture.